just have to wait. Wait there for the hook. Now we can proceed. Nice. We are back. Thor getting set. Robert Pattinson. Woo! I'm hearing wonderful things about this movie. Good time. Is it the summer surprise? It is indeed, yes. A gritty crime drama starring Robert Pattinson of Twilight fame. This guy's done incredible work in the last couple of years. All kinds of great roles. A botched bank robbery leads his brother a uh, trip to jail. So he's got to basically get together 10 grand to bail him out. Have a look. Don't look at them. Don't be scared. All right. Let me do all the talking. Hey, fellas, where are we going? Can I talk to you for a minute? First of all, could you take your hoodie off for me? Wait, what, what did we do wrong? No, hey, wait. Hey, you with the black sweatshirt. Yo, my man, turn around. He's all right. We didn't do no, anything. Oh, oh, get back here. Go. Oh. about the program he's forced to attend. So that is where everything goes completely sideways. And the brother there, you see, he plays a mentally challenged character. That's Ben Safty. He's one of the directors. It's directed by two brothers, Ben and Josh Safty. So he not only is behind the lens, but he's playing the brother here as well. I'm impressed how almost unrecognizable Robert Pattinson is in this. Uh, how much of a disappearance is this and a transformation from what we know him for? I mean, Pattinson is continuing to become this chameleon-like actor. This role is transcendent for him, I tell you. It's the finest work he's ever done as an actor. Unrecognizable, and he's got the bleached hair and things like that, but he's playing a real uh, urban, gritty uh, New Yorker who's a bit of a, a petty criminal. And I completely lost myself in this movie watching him. I was mesmerized every time he was on the screen. And I just, I love seeing it. It just engaged me so much. And I love that he's tackling these kind of roles. And you could tell he really put a lot of his effort into this, uh, this story and the script and clearly had a great time working with the Safdie brothers. This is a really refreshingly original movie. It kind of plays out like this hyperkinetic, kaleidoscopic urban fairy tale. Do you think, after all said and done in 2017, given how surprising this movie, I mean, I haven't heard much hype about this movie, that this will be a standout for best films of the year? Uh, it may be, uh, maybe Golden Globe talk. Certainly Pattinson will be uh, nominated for something or a host of things because this is an amazing role for him. Uh, it's got this disjointed, almost um, uh, tension-fueled feel to it. So, And I mean that in a, um, in a positive way because it gives it this signature stamp where it feels totally refreshingly original. And I think it is going to be one of the sleeper hits of the year. It also stars Jennifer Jason. And Lee and Barkot Abdi from uh, Captain Phillips, who uh, has a minor role but is very effective as well. But really, the movie rests on Pattinson. It's sort of got this Scorsese vibe, and the soundtrack is incredible too. It's got this uh, great vibe to it that reminded me of uh, movies like Run Lola Run or Hannah. And um, yeah, I hope he gets a lot of recognition for this. And just to have Ben Safty play the role of the brother and then also uh, direct the film with his um, his real life brother too was incredible. So I liken it to this urban fairy tale uh, that's very very tension-fueled and um, is one of the definite standout surprises of the summer. How many hammers? I'm going to go four out of five. Well, you got, you've got me excited and yeah. curious. Uh, I have to check that out this weekend. Thanks for the hammer drop.